What's going on guys, Vlad with eeenthusiast.com here and then today we're going to be playing with the Max 7219IC driven LED uh, matrix display that you can see on your screen right now. So what I'm going to be using actually for this tutorial is two very, very powerful libraries. So one of them is going to be called the MD underscore Max 72XX and the other one is MD underscore Parola. And both of these libraries in combination allow you to do extremely powerful things when it comes to displaying things on your uh, LED matrices. And um, what I'm talking about is essentially text scrolling, text being centered, text going to the right, to the left. Uh, you can do a lot of different animations such as, you know, sweeping left to right, up and down. You can display arrows, you can display individual pixels and so, so much more. So we're going to be taking a look at these libraries, give, going through a couple of examples and kind of, um, you know, appreciating the fact that Arduino, uh, which is an open source platform, has such a depth and such a rich kind of development base and someone who uh, actually spent this much time developing uh, the software uh, that you can, you know, use within minutes after installing these libraries without any... Um, kind of under, any deep understanding of the uh, electronics that go behind it, but essentially apply it to your projects, uh, get, uh, get a program out within minutes and kind of be able to do all these awesome things. So without any further delay, let's take a look at the libraries. And before we get into the code, I just wanted to give uh, credit where it's due. So Marco Colley is actually the developer for both of these libraries. First one being MD underscore max 72 XX and the second one is MD underscore Parola. So if you want to uh, go into Arduino and get both of these libraries, you go into sketch, include library, manage libraries and you search for MD underscore Parola. First of all, and then you can install this as you can see, it's already installed for me and then on MD underscore max uh, 72 XX it's installed as well and you'll be presented with a bunch of different examples like I said that uh, demonstrate the different features of the uh, IC and the LED matrix but essentially the first thing you want to do is figure out what kind of hardware you're going to be using because there is uh, quite a bit of a difference between the different manufacturers and the way the IC is set up so if you go into the header if you open the header file of the library itself you can see it on your screen uh, what it looks like for me but essentially uh, you need to, uh, like I said, figure out which one you're using and set a one next to that in the uh, library. So my particular one is the FC16. And as you can see, I have a one. I save this and everything should be good to go. There's also a few other kind of settings that uh, you shouldn't really fiddle with unless you really know what you're doing and you want to do something uh, more advanced than just displaying the text on this particular screen but you can uh, change the intensity you can change some of the the way it wraps around um etc etc but let's take a look at the uh, parola underscore print test and how how easy it really is to set up and get this going so there's going to be three libraries that we're going to use so parola max 72 and spi which comes with arduino we're going to set the max devices to four and that just means you have four uh, different LED matrices. So underneath each one of them, there's a separate IC. So it's four segments essentially in my case, and you can chain, you can chain more of them if you desire to do so. There's going to be three pins besides your voltage and ground. That's going to be the clock, the data and the CS pin. So they are defined to be 13, 11 and 10. You can change them. Uh, to whatever your heart desires right here in the code. And then we're going to instantiate essentially this MD uh, Parola P, which is going to be sent the CS pin and the number of max devices. And then uh, we're going to initialize a wait time. Let's reduce that down to uh, 200 milliseconds. As an example, P that begin is all we need in the setup and in the loop. So I haven't loaded this onto the LED display yet, but we're going to do that in just a second. But let's see how easy it is to display. If you want to display a hello message, then all you have to do is p.print. And then obviously here in this, you can print one, two, three, four in decimal hex, then uh, print a float. And it says not supported by Arduino print class, but we'll see what that looks like in just a second. And uh, you can, of course, display, you know, individual characters. 
So let's upload that sketch to our board and see what that's uh, gonna give us. And uh, give it just a second as it uploads. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is the very basic example. As you can see, it's essentially displaying a message then waiting 200 milliseconds. Let's really quickly change that to 500 just to um, make a change here and make sure that we can see every single message. And uh, we're scrolling one by one with half a second of a timer in between. So as you can see, that is working quite well. And um, yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much like all you need to do in order to get this running. There's really not that much code and you're really just importing two libraries getting set up and uh, you're pretty much all set and uh, good to go with these two libraries. But let's take a look at another example uh, showcasing, showcasing some of the more um, critical features. So, so here's another very cool example of the library. In this case, I'm only using the Mad Max 72XX. And it's the message example, which essentially allows the user to show a scrollable message and uh, you can edit it through the serial monitor. So if we uh, take a look at the settings, once again, you have the three pins, you have the number of devices in this case, uh, we can change it to four, but that doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Uh, the scroll delay, of course, so depending on if you wanna have your text going faster or slower, you can reduce this number. Um, but the default is 75. You can also control the speed through a use if of a potentiometer if you desire to do so on pin A5. And uh, yeah, so it's a pretty pretty powerful program. And let's uh, let's go into our tools serial monitor. And uh, obviously, you need to set the correct baud rate because they are using 57,600. The other setting is you need to uh, send a new line command based on this message. So type a message for the scrolling display and message line with a new line. So let's send a test as, a, as an example. So on the next scrolling display, like you can see, it's going to display our new message. And uh, yeah, we can continue doing so. Um, and that makes it really awesome because you can essentially change your message on the fly. If you have the display, you know, somewhere outside and uh, you can program remotely, then you can send messages through your computer to the display and be able to display as you wish. And uh, really quickly, so like I've mentioned, there's quite a few different examples among the two of those libraries. So there's uh, you know, tons and tons of features. So ambulance, you can display your text in a different um, order. Essentially, as you drive, you want to see it in your mirror in the correct orientation. Catalog, it's a feature where like your text essentially bumps in and out. And uh, custom characters, different, you know, heights that you can display. Uh, scrolling text, you can use it with the ESP8266 to get on the Wi-Fi and to get data from there. And the MD Max library itself has a couple of things that you can go through. Uh, there's a very cool test feature. Let's actually uh, load that one in and uh, see what it does. It does quite a few features. It shows, you know, the wide range of things that you can do uh, with this particular library. And uh, hopefully it's going to compile like it should and we should be able to see that in a second in action. So as you can see, I believe they included every single uh, every single feature that you can think of or do with this display. So there's gonna be different animations, bottom, uh, left, right, and uh, you can use all of these, you know, predefined features. You can essentially copy this function called uh, bullseye here and reapply it in your application and uh, modify, you, can, you have cross, you have columns, so just a lot, a lot of functionality and features with this, uh, you know, open source library. And that's a huge, huge advantage, advantage of platforms like the Arduino, where people actually dedicate their time to create something uh, as good as this and allow everyone to just jump on board. And like I said, without any further, further understanding of the data sheet of the IC to be able to display uh, such nice text. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. I also want you to check out the description and a couple of links that I left for you with uh, extra content. Last but not least, leave me a comment if you have any suggestions for next videos, questions about this topic or otherwise. Uh, thank you once again for watching and see you next time.